Hey guys, Launcher478 here, and today we are back with another episode of our Pokemon One Shield Wonderlock Nuzlocke. So, last time we got some new Pokemon, and I decided to grind them up. So, these are the two new members of the team, Torchic and Dratini. And I should probably go heal up, so. Because I was doing a bit of grinding. It was really tough to grind Dratini because right now my Dratini doesn't have many moves to um, hit people with, so that's the team right now. We got Torchic, Dratini, Hitmonchan, Krogunk, uh, Poliwhirl, and Feverful. And I need some potions, so let's buy some super potions 20 should be good and let's roll today we're going to be taking on the fourth gym which will be the ghost type gym really excited for that gmax gengar looks awesome even the sh the shiny form is amazing they took the white from the mega and they like turned it into the white G Max uh, Gengar. All right, Silly Cobra sleeping. We just need to pass. They let her pass, but they doesn't. He doesn't let us me pass. And then Hop comes in. He just says he can't battle. Time to battle them. You are challenged by a team yell grunt. Stunky. Go, Torchic. Alright, the sun's out, so we're we have boosted moves, so let's go for flame charge. Aw, oh, poison gas, really. That's kind of annoying. Go for the big flame charge, doing lots of damage. Critical hit. Our speed has been risen. Alright, now we're going to go for the flamethrower. And that's going to take him out. So all, like, the Torchic and Dratini can evolve. But I wanted to show you guys their evolutions, so I kept them as uh, Torchic and Dratini, so... Linoon. I think another flamethrower should be good. Hone claws. Alright, let's take them out. Use flamethrower. Will this KO or do I have to use quick attack? Oh, barely not killing. Time to use quick attack. Second kill, yes. And Linoon is down. We get some XP. We have defeated the team Yell Grunt. Now we have to defeat the other one. We are challenged by another team Yell Grunt. Lipard. Okay, let's go for the flame charge again on a sand attack, lowering my accuracy. That's annoying. Alright, my speed has risen. Will I be faster than a Lipard? I'm not going to take the gamble. Honestly, I like my Torchic way too much. Plus, I just trained them, so I don't want them to die. So let's send out Ryu. Assurance, yeah, I definitely would have died. Okay, so now let's go for a fake out. Well, that did a lot. Now we just go for fire punch, and that should be it. Fury swipes. Really, you're going to take me down with the multi-hit move just to waste my time. And fire punch. 
Easy KO. Torchic leveled up. Awesome. Toadie leveled up. And Ryu leveled up. Alright, now our Torchic's gonna evolve. Yeah. Into Combuskin. So. Here we go. Combuskin time. Alright, now he's gonna be hitting a little bit harder, which is good. Double kick. Eh, I'm good for now. Yeah, still a cobra wakes up and they leave. We also get an encounter here. So Okay, yep. Dialogue. And then the Silicobra wakes up and he leaves. And off he goes. Oh, there's Oleana the fairy type gym leader. Or Opal. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong gym leader. Well, actually, Oleana's a bad person that works for a bad man. So, very different. Alright, let's let's swap out Combuskin for Dratini. Actually, Krogonk. Let's use him for now. Because Combuskin is poisoned. Oh, I forgot about this metronome battle. Okay, so my Krogunk's a poison type and I have Venishock. Should be good. Clefairy and Krogunk. Time to use Venoshock. I hope it'll do a decent chunk. Yeah, it did a lot. That would be really funny if she got... Okay, she didn't get anything necessarily good, but if she got an overpowered move, or like explosion or self-destruct, that would be very bad. Alright, Clefairy's down. Now the Clefable comes out. It's gonna be a little bit bulkier than the Clefairy. So that means it's probably gonna get a metronome off. Venishock. Using metronome again. Razor Leaf. Okay, that's not doing anything. Yeah, I'm a poison type. Alright, nothing really big there. How much will this do? Alright, it's three hit knockout. It's also faster, so that means it could get something deadlier. Ooh. Volt Switch. Uh-oh. That did a lot. Let's go for another Venom Shock. I have Sucker Punch. Will this kill? Doesn't work on Metronome. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Well, Krogunk has lost, and he is... He got barely any time for the spotlight, so let's just... <sighs> he did... He took down a... He took down a Clefairy. And did massive damage to a Clefable. That's all he did. He did all that training for nothing. Well, that kind of sucks. Well, Dratini leveled up, so wants to learn the move Aqua Tail. I taught Dratini Whirlpool just to take down some Pokemon. And Krogunk was about to level up. I was so excited to use a Toxicroak in this journey, but it failed and I can't use him anymore. Sadness. Alright, now Dratini's gonna evolve into Dragonair. Awesome. We get a Dragon type. This is gonna be very good. Not for the Fairy type gym or the Dragon type, just in general coverage. Well, rest in peace, Krogunk. I didn't even get to nickname you. Okay, so who are we gonna use? Let's use. Let's bring out another dark type that we have and use 
let's use um, R score rupee and give him a couple of levels. Did a couple of switching around. Doug Trio. Since some Pokemon are easier to catch, I'm going to catch the first one I see, no matter if it's hard or, you know, easy. Just chuck a Great Ball. Will this work? What? Nope. Not even a shake. Sucker Punch is going to fail. Alright, time to go for Bug Bite. How much will this do? Oh, Sandstorm, really? Well, that's not good. How much will this bug ah, missed? And now I'm gonna get buffered by this handstorm every time. Bulldoze, uh oh. That did a decent chunk of damage to me. Bug bite. Again, missing? Really? What is this unluckiness? Please hit one move. Uh oh. Alright, we're living. Alright, that did a big damage, but now I have to swap him out because he's on 9 HP. Let's swap in Dragonair. Maybe he won't do as much damage. Sandstorm. Buffered. Alright, let's go for another Great Ball. Hopefully this will do it. One. Two, three, that's a catch. Awesome. Doug Trio was caught. Dragonair leveled up. Yep, his data was added to the Pokedex. Nope. Send to the box. Now we have to get through this, like, hill route. Can't use you, so let's put you in there for now. Move you there. Okay. So now we have to progress through this area. Out. Oh, maybe I should go the other direction because the Maractus is sitting right there. Um, who do I I don't want score rupee up there because it's almost gone let's use dragonair and hitmonchan or ryu for short yep we were challenged by you ponyard and togish oh shoot that's fairy type all right let's go for aqua tail on the togetic and Drain Punch. Actually, let's go for Fire Punch, see if that knocks out Ponyard. Yep, reuse the fastest thing, and that's dead. Awesome. Easy one shot. The Togetic, if it has, like, something, or a good fairy type move. Mega Punch. I'm gonna forget Retaliate because Mega Punch is just too good. It's big damage. Aqua Tail, how much will that do? Nothing. Fairy Wind. Okay, that did a big chunk. We go for Aqua Tail again, and then I'll go for Mega Punch, because we literally just learned it. How much will that do? Another chunk. That Fairy Wind is just gonna keep... Ch oh! I'm swapping out Dragonair. I am not losing my Dragonair. Whatsoever. Let's bring in Toady and go for another Mega Punch. Is that gonna- is our Mega Punch gonna kill? No, we miss. We're missing everything. That's... Still did a decent chunk, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go for Fire Punch. Bubble Beam, is that going to kill? I mean, the sun's out. Might not. Yeah, it's, it, that did literally nothing. But that's boosted by the sun, so it's going to kill. Alright, we had a hiccup there, but we got over it. 
body slam. Let's forget mud shot. Actually, water gun. I'm not really using water gun. Plus, bubble beam just has more power. So, now we move on. Got some more XP leveled up a couple of, with our Pokemon a little from that battle. Okay, now let's head up to here. I'm going to try and skip the trainers, honestly, because I need... Oh. Turn. Easy. I think we have to battle the trainers down... Or we have to battle a trainer through there. But... Our team's, like, almost gone, so. There is a TM over here, and I do want it, so. Alright, skipping this. We have to battle her back up, though. Oh, the TM's over there. Hop down here. Grab the TM. We got TM30 Steel Wing. So we now have to grow up this hill. Yeah, we have to battle her. Shoot, Dragonair's or who's in the front? I think Dragonair's in the front of the party, which isn't good. And I don't really have any switch ins right now because all my Pokemon are low. I guess I could swap in Swap in Toady. And whatever move he goes for, hopefully it doesn't kill us. Circle throw. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Awesome. We're going to get swapped out immediately. I, I need to heal. I need super potion. Okay. It's gonna heal me back up. Storm throw. Storm throw. First circle throw. Crit? Really a crit? Let's go for Thunder Wave. Get paralyzed. I don't want to lose my Dragonair. Yes. Okay. Got paralyzed. Awesome. Now we have to switch into Toady. Ah, uh, we can't. Let's just swap into Ryu and just start drain punching. It won't do much, but it'll it'll give us some health. Don't kill Ryu. This thing hits hard. Alright, now we can just click drain punch him in. See how badly this can go in like a couple of seconds? Okay, paralyzed again. She is super unlucky with these paralyzes. Actually, this video is getting kind of long, so I might just do the hop rival battle and do the gym in the next one so we can start it off and make our way through Glim Glimwood Tangle. Easy peasy. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll do the gym in the next episode. Because this is a long route. There we go. Night Slash. Oh, that's really good. If I was using physical attacks. But Night Slash is just too good to pass up. Too good not to pass up. So, we got rid of Sucker Punch for it. Awesome. We beat the throw. Barely. I need to heal. So let's... Oh, I have a new TM. That's right, Steel. No one can learn it. Um, I need super potions. Heal everybody up. Alright, we're good. Now I need to give... Well, I guess I can't heal that poison yet. Okay. Awesome. Now we should be able to move on. I just wanted that TM. I'll come back later to grind, but just for now, since I want to get to the next rival battle and gym, we're just going to push on. 
Oh, this coughing nose explosion, so I need to take it out and fast. Neutralizing gas. Hopefully Aqua Tail won't miss. Okay, it hits. It's doing nothing. Smoke screen. I need to watch out for this thing's explosion because I know it has it. Extreme speed. How much will this do? A lot. Okay, it's going for smoke screen again. Let's just keep going for extreme speed. It's lowering my accuracy, which is a bit annoying. Uh-oh. Here goes. Self-destruct. Don't kill me. Oh, it's doing nothing. Okay, I was afraid for a second that it might kamikaze, basically, and just destroy us. But Dragonair toughed it out. Now I have to fight a pseudo Weaver. I do have Aqua Tail, which is easy. Go for Aqua Tail. Does nothing. Why does it, like, suck? Rock Slide. Uh oh. Oh, barely living. Let's swap in Toady. Super effective. Got Bubble Beam on it. Rock Slide. That's gonna do. It's gonna do a big some big damage. Bubble Beam. Do do a lot. Didn't do anything. I need to put it to sleep. Actually, Toady might be gone. Nine health. Don't miss. Oh, I thought it... Oh, if it missed, we were dead. But if it wakes up on this turn, we're also dead. So, taking a gamble. Bubble beam again. Come on, dude. Don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. Lowered his speed. Okay. He's still asleep. This is good, this is good. He's probably gonna wake up on this turn, I don't know. Bubble Beam, can it? Can this just KO? No, it can't. Okay, he's still sleeping. Whew! Alright, GG, not so easy. That was really close. For a freaking pseudo Wudo. Pseudo Wudo goes down. Get a lot of experience. I think I need a water stone to evolve him. And I can't really get that right now. So Toady's just gonna be a polytoad for a little bit. And there's the Diglett mural. So let's go heal up, take on Hop, and then I'm gonna end the video there. Yep, still on side. It's a really odd area to be, like, really dusty. Actually, yeah, we have to get an encounter, so I'm going to do that after the hop battle. Changing up the schedule mid-video. And boom. Everybody's healed up, ready to take on hop. So, I've lost a lot of Pokemon recently, because the game's going to get tougher, like now, because, well, I don't know if it's going to get tougher right now, because I'm facing Hop. Yep, I'm here. Can I battle you, please? Awesome, time to battle. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Cramorant. Okay. Yep, you keep talking to yourself. It's level 28. Let's go for Poison Fang. Fury Attack. Oh, miss. If it has any flying type moves, that could be really bad. Oh, now we're getting the poisons on Poison Fang. So it's easier. Go for another Poison Fang. Oh, dive. It's gonna... 
do I have any switch-ins into this? I have Dragonair. Easy. Easy reads. It's not very effective. Dragon type is so useful. Use dive. Boom. But now it has the the fish in its mouth, the Aracuda. So let's go for extreme speed. And that's gonna take him out, even though he's gonna launch the Aracuda at us. Lowering our defense, that could be bad. I'm gonna Dragon Tail the next Pokemon. Just because Dragon Tail. Also, I don't think I have an option for Silk Cobra. <coughs> Go for Dig. Dig, really? First dive, now dig? I have Aqua Tail. Let's see how much this does if it doesn't kill. <sighs> dig is so annoying. Okay, I don't really have a swap in right now, so let's actually toady. Easy. Hopefully. Dig is so annoying. Don't go for it again. Glare. Mmm, glare really paralyzing me. Well, now I'll be slower every time so I can actually hit him. Bubble I'm still faster. I guess it is Silly Cobra. It's really slow. Once you aim for a super effective hit, if you had the chance, right? Yep. That's kind of why I brought out Toady. Brutal swing. This wasn't really brutal. It's kind of a light tap. Go for mud shot. Um. Super potion. Okay. If I go for the mud shot, it'll take him down into bubble beam kill range, I think. Yeah. Okay, I just need to hit one more bubble beam. And I made him a little bit, and I'm paralyzed. So many ands. Just keep getting brutal swing. I honestly think if he went for dig, I probably would have lost. But the silly cobra is barely living. He needs to go for dig if he wants to keep his silly cobra around. Go for another mud shot. I'm paralyzed again. Oh, now it's going for dig. I guess I did tell him how to win. I'm paralyzed again. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's doing nothing. Let's go for another mud shot. And that's going to take down the silly cobra. Two Pokemon down. Drizzle. Okay, let's go for Hypnosis, and then Body Slam. Tearful look, okay, that's fine. Come on, Hypnosis land. Okay, I need to switch out. I don't really have an answer for Drizzle right now. Actually, I do. I, I actually don't. Because Combuskin's weak. I guess I could swap into Thievful. 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 I still don't know how to say that. It's going to be like a gag soon. Tearful look again. But I'm going to be able to tank some of his hits. Let's go for Night Slash. Newly learned Night Slash. Oh, it did nothing. He's going to keep tier... F Why does he keep using this one move? Is he purposely trying to drop all my stats so he can win? Yeah, he goes for Sucker Punch. That's doing nothing. Night Slash again. That This is also going to do, I guess, a chunk. Let's go for... He's going... He keeps going for Sucker Punch. It's not the right play. He needs to start going for, like, Water Pulse. Or else he's going to keep getting Night Slashed. Oh, this time I'm faster, which means he didn't use Sucker Punch. And we take down Drizzle. Easy peasy. Well, not really easy peasy, but you know what I mean. Level 34, level 34. Awesome. 
last Pokemon is Toxel, I think. Yeah. Let's go for another Night Slash. If this doesn't kill, that's sad. It didn't kill. Oh, more Paralyze. Paralysis officially sucks. Let's go... F yeah, I guess I could go for Snarl. See how much it does. Snarl. And that's gonna KO. After getting paralyzed and then Silicobra's dig is so annoying, we defeat Hop. And then now we can go heal up. I think, yeah, let's go heal up. Go heal up and then do the encounter, and that's where I'm gonna end it. She always creeps up behind you. It's really weird. We get Alistair's League card for the next gym. But first, more important than gym badge, we have an encounter to do. So, let's hop on our bike. And speed over to the Pokemon Center, heal up, get our new Pokemon. Hopefully it's something good and not level 1 that I have to grind for again. But our team is looking strong right now. I mean, we only have a couple more evolutions, but of course some people are going to faint along the way. Alright, now it's time to get ready for... The new Pokemon. I'm not hoping for like a legendary because that would just be dumb and I wouldn't use it. I'm trying to see if we can actually get something usable. Like mid 30s, like 35, something like that. And yeah. Let's spin and wait to see what we will get. It's really exciting to see what we get next. Like, just waiting for the wonder trade isn't that exciting, but when you actually get ready to do it, it's like a whole possibilities of what you could get. Like, I had no idea if you didn't have the expansion pass, you could get the Torchic and Dratini. They're both from the Crown Tundra, but I didn't know you could get it even though you don't have the pass. So, it's kind of exciting. And we should be able to trade right in a couple of seconds, right? This is the longest one so far. Just like the general waiting. I wonder why. Oh, I know why. It's gonna be something good. Goodbye, Doug Trio. I'm gonna send it to Leo. What will we get? A Rog and Rolla. Okay. Is it. It's caught in a regular Pokeball, which means it could be high leveled. Could be level one. But it also could be like mid-30s, which could be super useful. So, let's see our Rog and Rolla. Two boxes. Of course it's level 1. Everybody trades level 1 Pokemon. Weak Armor, Sand Attack, Tackle, Bold. Not, nothing too special. I'm probably not going to use it because Weak Armor is really annoying. But, hey. At least we got a new Pokemon to use. And you got, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.